morning everyone, Gadget here for another Henry's Calling the Shot. In this video, we're gonna talk about product photography. Whether it's Shopify or Etsy, we're gonna teach you how to get your product to look as great as it is for your customers. We're gonna work with a garment on white, an art piece on color, and last, we're working with a local jeweler, Patrick Misode, and he was kind enough to lend us his jewelry to shoot on a reflective surface. Now you can do this with just about any camera because it comes down to technique and lighting. For today's shoot, we have the Canon 5D Mark III along with the 24 to 70 and 7200 f4 lenses. For lighting, we have two 8400 Pros from Godox, an 8200 and a Godox trigger to make them shoot. Now that we've covered the gear, let's get started with our first setup. First setup, we're gonna be shooting two pieces of clothing on a white background. It's a standard in product photography, this high key white look. For this shot, we're gonna be using two AD400 Pros high up to eliminate any shadows. And we're gonna use these 120 centimeter octoboxes to really diffuse the light across the entire subject. We also have this photographic seamless paper that you can pick up at Henry's. It allows for perfect continuous tone with no glare. We now have the 24 to 70 on our camera. Let's go take some pictures. Now I love this Godox trigger. It allows me to manage up to five strobes. In this case, these two lights, I can manage the power on both of them. We have them set up really high and half power each. These are gonna eliminate a lot of the shadow. We're only gonna get a little bit of shadow just to see that differentiation between the two pieces of clothing. Now, no high key image is perfect out of the camera. When you bring this image into your editor of choice, then you're pushing the highlights to match that white on your web page. So there you have it, high key demystified. Now that we have this technique down, we're gonna move on to our next setup. For this setup, we're gonna be shooting this Dyson vacuum insert, reusable ice cream cone, eco-friendly lint roller, knockoff Coca-Cola bottle, poor man's vase, cucumber peeler. I don't know what this is, let's just call it art. We're gonna shoot something that isn't high key, something that has hard edges and really showcases how obscure and unique this product is. We're gonna do all of this with one light. Now for a lot of your product photography, you're gonna to need to have a tripod with you. It allows you to keep your camera stable and replicate your shots. More importantly, it allows you to shoot at a lower shutter speed, keep that ISO low, and narrow down your aperture. Now I don't say this often, but the Godox 8200 is kind of a secret weapon. You can actually switch out the Fresnel head and put in a round head to get a nice round light. On top of that, we actually put in the grid and the snoot to narrow that beam. So we get that hard shadow that we're looking for. On the other side, we have a silver bounce here that's gonna fill in light on the opposite corner of the image and reduce that vignette in the shot that we're going for. Now that we have this set up, let's take a picture. Okay, that's the exact image we're looking for. Again, in a world where everyone's using diffused light and putting everything against a white background, let's keep in mind that we wanna make sure that our images match the product in question. And with this, going with a single light, making sure we get a narrow beam and those hard shadows, is something that actually looks cool against this object. So now that this is done, let's move on to our next technique. Now here at our third setup, and this one's a fun one. We're gonna be using a 12 inch iPad as a reflective surface for the jewelry that we're shooting. Make sure that there's no dust or debris in this shot because it's gonna make your editing that much easier. For lighting, we have the 8400 Pro. The first one is set up high, pointing down. It's gonna fill the entire frame. It's gonna put a nice soft light on the product. We have another one of those set up as a fill light just to make sure that there's no shadows, but more importantly, the product is well lit. Now you can shoot this without these lights here, but the strobes put out so much power that it allows you to narrow down your aperture and get all the detail in the product that you're shooting. Now that we have the product and the lighting set up, let's go take some pictures. Awesome. So here we have two 8400s again, one at one half power and one at one eight. So this has about four times the power of that light over here, gives us a nice ratio to work with and really makes this image look like it belongs in a magazine. As always, use your histogram. When we're shooting on a dark background, it may be hard to tell. So just check that histogram one last time to make sure there's nothing under or overexposed. 
By now, you have three unique techniques to shoot your product. So experiment and see which one works for you. Take your time here on set so you don't have to work harder when you're editing your images. Also, be creative and experiment. You might not have all the pro lights that we used here today. You can just use a daylight source and a bounce to fill in. Again, it comes back to shaping and molding this light to get your product to look great for your customer. Today, we use the Canon 5D Mark III along with the 24-70 7200 f4 lenses. We use two Godox 8400 Pro and 8200 and of course the trigger to make them work. All these products can be found on henrys.com. The links are in the description. Before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you know when a new video has come out. And if you have any interesting techniques, let us know in the comments below. Special thanks to Patrick Misa Day for lending us his jewelry. You can find his work in the link in the description. I'm Gadget. This was Henry's Calling the Shot and we'll see you next time.